Okay, so we're going to build the LC and the plus. Now this is, um, over here this is the plus and this is the LC and the first thing we're going to do is we are going to cover the parts of the base and so that's the stuff that's labeled here in red and you probably can't read that but this is just a reference so I can uh, call everything the right names and I'll post that online but I wanted to show you the difference between the LC and the plus uh, I've had some questions. Why does this cost more money? Well, it's bigger. And uh, the heat board on it is an 8x8, um, you know, build size here, 8x8x8, eight by eight by eight, and it's a 6x6x6. Six by six by six. Those are rough numbers. Um, but uh, basically, it's a size difference, and the potential for what you can build is much greater. Uh, so these are the parts for what I call the base, the base of the unit. Now, they do have individual names. Um, you know, they're somewhat cryptic, but we try to make sense of, uh, you know, for instance, um, let's see, this guy right here is the rear of the LC, so RRLC, uh, the deck of the LC, the uh, DEKC, and the front of the LC, or the FNTC. So, as you can see, they're somewhat cryptic, but you can kind of figure them out, and to be honest, I don't have all the names memorized yet, but we got to give them some designation so that we can refer to them. And uh, if you are missing a part or you need one replaced, um, we'll all be able to call them by the same names. So um, the reason I have uh, some in the middle here and some on the sides is uh, just for your interest, um, these parts in the center are common parts. And so these are shared on both bots, okay? So these are common, and these are specific, and these are specific. One other differentiation between the, the LC and the plus is you can see here the Z rods, these, this is the, um, the LRDC, or the lower rod LC. Uh, so the lower part of the LC, the rod pokes through here and is held and goes through here too. And uh, these are 8 millimeter rods, and these are 12 millimeter rods. So the cost is greater on these. Uh, these are um, a lot beefier. You can see the bigger round, 12 millimeters. And concerning the rods, while I'm thinking of it, um, if you're building one of these yourself, you know these files are going to get posted on uh, online. If you are building one yourself and you have a laser cutter and you're going to uh, cut these yourself, um, keep in mind that the the rods that you use. I got a couple here for uh, the. LC, the rods that you use are going to be um, machined linear rail. Now if you go to Lowe's and try to source these, it's just not going to work. Uh, you want machined exactly eight, whoops, exactly eight millimeters. So if you were to take some calipers and put, put on here, this is, I say exactly, uh, by my reading here. This is 7.93, and this is 7.93, so just a little shy on these, but uh, they're 8 millimeter rods. So um, that's one difference between the two. So what I've done here is laid these out um, in the way that they go together. Uh, one thing I want to point out is that these have a little mark on it. You can see it here. There's a little arrow and the arrow actually points to the front of the unit and so not all parts but some um, have an arrow that point to the front so here's another one that arrow points to the front so it's important that you line these up um, pointing to the front so what I thought I'd do is I'll give you a couple tips on there's a lot of screws and nuts and bolts and one tip is uh, that you can fit these. I laid this down on the desk, I dropped in uh, these these nuts, and then I taped them down. Um, now, when I read this, I think it was on uh, when I built my MakerBot um, over a year ago now, uh, it said to do this, and I tried it, and honestly, I was moving fast enough, and I got, you know, 
small enough fingers that uh, it was all going really well and I didn't I ended up not using this so today I'm not going to do that um, but I just wanted to show you that you can kind of get these ready with your your nuts so you don't have to hold them in now uh, these parts that are held in by tape that might be a good trick on some of these interior parts um, that actually get really hard to reach um, but since they are hard to reach uh, putting them inside there is great but then you're gonna have to get that tape off or at least um, you could get that tape off you wouldn't have to so doing that is uh, maybe a time saver saver maybe not um, so what I thought I'd do is I'd go ahead and put together um, the base of one of these and I can I can dry fit um, these and show you how it all goes together first and explain some of the parts and then I'm just gonna put a few screws in to hold it together and instead of making this video very long because uh, you know the original claim was that you can print I mean that you can build a printer bot original the plastic version in under two hours that is to say I can build a printer bot in under two hours if it's all laid out on the table and I've got all my uh, nuts and bolts and everything ready. On these build videos I'm trying to take it at a pace at which uh, you know it's easier for you guys to to follow. So I thought I would speed things up a little bit by um, I've laid out some screws over here um, and I'm not going to put together every bolt. I'm basically going to get it together to show you how it fits. Okay. So the first thing um, to note is I'm going to kind of set these aside so I can get a little more working room here. Set these guys over here. Need these later. Okay. So we're going to put uh, this together and then I can get some motors too and we can pop in the motors. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, well, let me explain this real quick. So these little parts, they're common parts on both. Instead of having little bitty guys um, bounce around inside the bag, I put all these little guys together so when I was packing the bags I could just grab one. And the idea here is they're joined together by a very small uh, remainder of wood and so these guys pop off um, fairly easily and then you're going to probably want to take a knife or a file and clean those up a little bit. Uh, since I popped these parts off here, these guys are optional and all they are is uh, when we get to the bridge um, these guys may help you tighten or tension the belt. If you've got some Velcro on there holding things, um, you can use these if you want to. The part I'm after right now is this guy right here. And this is going to space our end stop out far enough so that it hits the hole. So we will need that. But the rest of this stuff I can put aside for now. There for the bridge. Okay. So, um... In kind of order of how we're going to assemble this, um, I thought the first thing we do is piece these guys together. Put these aside. I'm going to piece these guys together. And one thing of note is that they don't fit together anyway. It's not a symmetrical piece. There are a lot of symmetrical pieces. This isn't one of them. So we're going to just dry fit this in here. And this is, uh, right now, I've got um, these parts laid out, how it's going to go together. So these are going to fold up and go right in there. Now, um, if you'll notice, uh, like I said, some, but not all, are symmetrical pieces. So if I want to put this together, um, it'll only go that way. It won't go this way. See, that, that doesn't fit. Um, these arrows are both facing forward, forward, forward. So I know it's going to orient this direction. So when I go to put this in, it's going to go like that, or it's going to go like this. So which one does it go on? Um, the, uh, the rod is going to poke through here. And so I need it to line up with the hole below it. So if I were to put it here, and imagine uh, I put a rod down through here as a drill bit to represent it's not going to hit anything. I can't turn this around because uh, then the arrow is going the wrong direction and that won't work. Now if I were 
to flip this part, which is symmetrical. Now it's facing forward, but this guy isn't. Um, this is symmetrical one way, but not the other. So even though uh, I could maybe get away, nope, can't get away with it because these are offset, so it isn't even symmetrical um, this way or this way. We have to get these together in, in the right fashion here, so it's very important that we make sure this lines up with the hole. These holes right here won't line up because this is not a symmetrical piece. So uh, that makes our little puzzle here only fit together like this. Now when I put that straight down, it is lining up with the hole below it. Okay, So that's how you have to get this together. And I do recommend you dry fit. Don't start bolting stuff together. Um, until you see that all the arrows are facing the right way and the rod holes line up. Okay. Now, even though I, I put them in here to illustrate um, how these align with each other, I'm going to have to remove these and attach them to the sides first. So the order is get these fitted together. I'm going to rotate this to show how these fit in here. Like so. Okay. And I can bolt that together. So um, then I'll just flip this over. And this is worthy of note here. Um, like I said, I'm going to try to show you all of the parts that are symmetrical and, and which way they can be fitted. Um, but this is symmetrical. I could flip this and it would still fit in these holes. Again, I'm just illustrating the pieces before I assemble. So this fits in the hole, but I want the best side, when possible, I would want the best side facing out. And this has some charring here on the sides, which is going to happen on some of these parts. And uh, if I flip it like that, then I've got the bad side in and the beautiful side out. So just a note there. Now I'm going to double check my work, dry fit it in here, double check my work, dry fit it in here. I, I say dry fit it, I just mean without nuts and bolts. Now this piece here is not symmetrical because we need, now this will work here, this will go together, but I'm not able to flip it and put it together this way. We did that because the board is going to end up orienting right here. And uh, if I were to uh, let me turn this the right way to illustrate. See these, these holes don't line up? They're a little off here. They're offset on purpose so because we've got a very specific use for these right here. 